everyone, Sandra here and welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title, today's video is about the Camphor Bay, I wanted to say it's called the Midnight Maxi, it was launched, I mean we're in mid-November now, it was launched I believe two weeks ago uh, for a 24 hour period only <laughs> and then it was taken off sale um that was just like a little taste of it because it wasn't actually being officially um released to the public um yet and it still isn't available yet but i believe i've read on the canther bay besties page on facebook it is going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks during the 24 hour launch i did snag myself one and i did get the one that i wanted and just to let you know i had no idea of the fit of this particular one i mean they say it fits up to a, a plus plus size you know up to a 20 but there are one or two items silk items that i cannot wear from canther bay okay just to let you know and one of them is the split midi dress i think it's too tight around here you know because i because of my size and I thought this would be like that. So, but anyhow, I decided just to get the one. I had three favorites, but I decided just to get the one. And then I figured if it did not fit, I could sell it. <laughs> sell it and, you know, do it that way. Um, so let's get talking about her. This is the lady that I picked up and most of my colours are going over to these kind of colours with pinks. What I'm wearing at the moment is just an oddity in the mix. It's just, a, you know, I, I just got taken by the colours in this. That's why I'm wearing this. But this is the, the colour palette that I wanted. Now, on the screen, if you're brand new and you're watching my YouTube channel and you've never ordered before, maybe you want to, to go in the bohemian way of live maybe you just want to wear pretty silk clothes or whatever you want to do if you are not familiar with these type of clothes they are sort of a one size fits most okay and they offer a silk fabric in clothes and they offer a camphor fabric which is sort of like the camphor that i'm wearing which is a cotton this is the silk but I also want to tell you that sometimes, depending on what the um, colours on your screen, on whatever device you're watching are, the colours that you order, that you see on the website, may not always be the same colour that you get, okay? It's just the way, I mean, it's not like if you order something red, you're going to get something blue. It's just that there may be a discrepancy. When I ordered this lady, I thought she was going to be a lot, lot lighter than this. But I'm not disappointed. I've never been disappointed when they come and I open them up. It's just, I just want to make, make you aware that that is just a setting on your device that you're watching that can sometimes show up the colour a little bit differently. So if you are very, very specific about your colours, about, excuse me, about what you do and don't like, um, make sure that the settings on your device <laughs> Uh, I set to, I don't even know what to get them to set to, to be honest. I would like to give you a tutorial on that, but I don't have it. Um, but that's that. Anyhow, this is the lady that I ordered and she is a short sleeved. She's a v, v that comes down and she has a placket that runs sort of a bit way down with buttons that can open. And then this is what I was frightened of with her because this line here, on the split midi it goes straight across and that is where I have my trouble okay I can I can't I can get a split midi over my head but I can't really get anything I can't really do anything even if I you know lift one of my boobs up and try fitting it in so I was a bit like oh, I don't know that that's gonna that's gonna do it to be honest um another thing about the dress is that it's layered down in sort of a prairie kind of look and that's it and the ones that I noticed, so she has a lot of swing, the ones, what I've noticed with this particular style of dress is that there's a different sort of pattern at the top and at the bottom. I've seen that on all of the pictures. So I think it's sort of a two-tone kind of look. 
and then mine when she came as you can see and i'm not selling her if anyone's watching this and going oh sandra you're gonna no i'm keeping this one <laughs> let me just get a bit back so this little lady is sort of the purples and um i wasn't sure what this color was going to be on the screen but it's like an olivey kind of color or a dark chartreuse darker than this but and then at the bottom i honestly thought the bottom <laughs> was teal but she's actually sort of um, a mixture of blue chartreuse i see gray in there as well so this is the color of her and these are the buttons that's the front that's the back and i know you want to see her on now which means i'm going to take off this whole ensemble that i put together for today and okay Let's see what she looks like on. And this is what she looks like on. And like I say, she is a little bit darker than I thought when I first got her, but I don't mind. She seems to be, uh, she fits really, really well. Okay. And I pull my tape measure out just to give you some more accurate measurements. Now, just remember, everything's handmade. So um, there's going to be sort of a, a little bit of variance either side but but before these launch again if you want an idea of how it looks on my plus size body if you are smaller obviously i don't think you're gonna have any trouble wearing this whatsoever okay even if you're my size you're an 18 to 20 i don't think you're gonna have any trouble but we don't all carry our weight in the same place okay some of us carry it up here, some of us carry it here, some here, and some here. So let's just give you a few measurements so you can see what she looks like on. First off, I've got these unbuttoned, but I don't need to. And if I can get the tape measure around me, I'll give you a more or less accurate of what my measurements are here. So it's probably about 49, okay? That is all the way round. Okay, so, so that's that. So if you are around my measurement in that, you're still gonna have some space, okay, my darling? So I, I don't really go off what a bra size is because I don't wear a bra, I wear a camisole. So I wear, under this, I'm wearing a camisole. So what I tend to do is just go about, just go around what, what the actual thing is rather than trying to guess a cup size. So mine is about 49, is what I measured that at. Now, right underneath my arms, okay, let's turn that round. It's about 45. I'm trying to do this with one person. So under, right underneath my arms is about 45. This is 49, which I think my waist is about 45 as well, okay? I don't get embarrassed doing this to be honest 45 okay and my hips are i think my hips are about there my hips are about 49 <laughs> so 45 49 45 49 so those are those measurements there okay so you have a general idea now first off like i say you have this neckline here it opens up and that is much better than the to me anyway than the split silk split midi dress because that didn't have this here. I think this is great opening here and it falls flat here, okay? There's none of that monkey business going on that I don't, didn't like with the shawl, just uh, with the vest, okay? It falls flat, okay? And it falls flat here. They've done a really good job there. And the placket falls flat. Where the booby bit he is here, it actually curves down and around. I do not like dresses that have this straight thing across here that's up a bit higher. I don't know why people make them, especially for plus size. I see them a lot in the shops where it's sort of, it's nice and straight and then they start with a line about there. And I'm thinking that is, that just, it's not flattering for anyone with boobs. I'm sorry. I, I mean, maybe if you don't have. So I like the fact that they've dropped this thank the canva gods and then they've done it lower than this but even if your boobies are bigger than mine 
it will still fit okay you're not going to have a problem because this line here goes down and where it is meeting me at the moment is at my natural waist so they've done a good job there and it's nice at the back as well if you're watching and your problem area is up here this is a more fitted as well i'm afraid if you have one of the stevie kimonos you know what i'm talking about if you have a bit of problem there now this is not as fitted to me as the stevie kimono there's still a little bit of space but the where this falls is it falls exactly on my shoulder it's not a dropped kimono type it is more fitted and then you have the sleeves which are a bit wider than the stevie kimono but uh, and I've measured that and from here to here it's 10 inches okay so that is 10 inches and that just fits nicely on me and I can wear something underneath and still lift my arms without it tearing okay so this is a lifty arm thing so just be aware now I don't know I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this for my ladies who because the arms the arms make a big difference that's why I like sleepless sometimes I don't know what I'm going to be all the way round, but if I just measure it from there to there and double it, it's probably going to be about 24, okay, all the way round. So if you're at home and you can measure that, that is the actual fabric. So the actual fabric from there to the underneath is 12 and then doubled, you know, for the other side is going to be about roughly about 24 inches. So if your arm here is wider than that, you may struggle. I'm not saying you will, but, but I've just left it open for you. Lengthwise, I think I can smell my curry burning. I'm cooking a curry, so. Okay, so let's talk about the length of this. This length is on me, it's, she's, she's working out to be a high, a bit higher at the front and lower at the back. That is because I have this going on at the front, okay? If you are more flatter there, I think it's gonna fall flatter and loop and drape longer there. I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not that, but anyhow, let me just tell you, so from the top of my shoulders, and let's just try and get this done. Ugh, where's the cat one I need? That's about 50 inches. Okay, so from the top of my shoulders down to the highest, where it's lift raised at the front, it's about 50. So I'll turn the back, probably at about another three inches to that. So it's prob probably about 53 at the back, 50 at the front. It hits, I'm five foot six, and it hits about an inch above my ankles. Can you see that? Do I have the camera? So she hits about one inch above my ankles. Now I know that, that when you, a lot of people will be wearing something, um, maybe wedgies or boots or something like that. So if you are shorter than me, you can still wear her. It's not gonna be a problem. But just to let you know that that is what it's going to be, okay? If you, if you have problems with your middle bit, okay? Um, I think we've covered the boobies, haven't we? Yeah, we've covered the boobies. There's, there's, for me, there's enough space to lift my arms, okay? So the ladies who do watch my channel and the ladies I talk to on the um, on the Cancer Bay Besties page, I know who you are. So we talk, but you know we've taught. I think you'll be good. <laughs> I don't want to name names there. Okay, it goes in there, and then I think if you have any 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 carrying any around here, or if you're pregnant, you're good as well because there's a lot of fabric. It's not heavy. It's just there's a lot more fabric. So even if you're like pregnant or even if you carry a lot more another thing is if you carry it on your hips as well i think you're good to go there as well i think they've covered all the aspects with this one i think they've got this one really well well made to be honest so this one you can definitely because it's layers this one will go out a lot you could have the ass of a kardashian are y'all still going to be able to fit in this <laughs> <laughs> and then um the length of this from here to here is i'm not going to measure it because i'll just show you i think all our arms are maybe about the same she comes to, uh, above my elbow on here okay 
Okay, like I say, I just I just wear something underneath mine. I put the link to this top. This is from the Amazonian, and then I will show you how I've been wearing it. You can just wear her on her own, and this is how I'm wearing her around the house. I can't remember what I've already told you guys because I've I've done about five different recordings for this, but anyhow. I have been wearing it with the best. I've worn it for five days, okay? Now, I do like to wash my clothes every time I've worn them because I have hot flashes. So this goes in the laundry, you know, in one of the lingerie bags. I don't know if I've covered that, but if I haven't, put them in a lingerie bag and do what you gotta do. So with one of these vests, y'all know I didn't like this, this is at the back, but the way that I've been wearing it with a vest, is like that and like I say when I bought it I thought she was a lot lighter in color because I did actually get her to go to match with this dress with this vest but then I got her and she was <laughs> darker but it still looks good okay so this is what it's going to look like more or less with one of the stargazer vests if you manage to snag one and they've grown on me so much now I, I do find myself pulling these out more and more so that is how one day how I've worn it one another thing is the serenity serenity or a solace depending on what you have I don't like wearing silks on silks okay just to let you know but I actually think that it looks good with a serenity or a solace I say solace I don't know what y'all say but let me just do this and just and what I normally do is you've probably seen it on other videos I just pull get it belted up and then I just sort of pull the back in just a little bit just to give it some shape so this is like what it's like with the solace and I think she looks nice like that as well and she is about three inches longer than the back of a solace, just to let you know. And then my favourite way I've been wearing her, I keep sniffing, I know I have this terrible, my ears keep popping, is the, if you have a therapy shawl, it would go nice with a therapy. Um, this is my crocheted one, and what I did was I added a neck to it. So this was the crochet shawl that I've, I've shown you in a previous video. And what I did was I made a sort of an open neck here and then put all these dingle dangles. And this is how I've been wearing it. Oh. Oh. And when I went for my booster jab last week, um, I wore this exact outfit, had my booster jab, had to sit in the room for 30 minutes um, because I carry an EpiPen. And whilst I was in there, we had the full discussion. <laughs> about Canther Bay and um, crochet because I, I think the two go hand in hand the two go really really well crochet and Canther Bay uh, so this is how I wore it and I just wore a pair of black leggings underneath with just a black pair of boots and this is how I went out even even though it was snowing a bit it wasn't freezing it wasn't below temperatures but this was warm enough for me and yeah so that I'll keep this on <sighs> So that is my review of the Midnight Maxi. I really like it. I would put it on the same par as the Silk Roost dress for me. I like the Silk Roost dress. I've been wearing them more and more lately. I, I love everything because I can just pop it on and not worry about it. And with this, this is a no brainer. I mean, if you, even if you don't want to wear anything underneath it, you could still fasten that up. I could still have it fastened, and it's not. I'll stand a bit. I'm gonna burp. I don't know what. I'm just. I'm just filthy. So I can still have it fastened, and it's not pulling. Okay. So that's it fastened, but I've just been undoing it slightly, just like that, and then I can definitely see that during the spring. And in the summer, you know, I just change what I'm wearing under it and I can get all four seasons out of this. And I, I currently am getting four seasons because I am wearing, obviously, 
something over the top of it just one of those three things that's all i've got um at the moment and i'm wearing it out and i'm just wearing it out the only caveat i would have to this i i give it a 9.995 out of, out of 10 where's the darn pockets guys <laughs> what happened to the pockets did they just go no we don't want pockets on who doesn't want pockets on i i'm a bit like where's the, <laughs> where's the pockets um and I never used to, I, I always used to see when people made comments about pockets, I always used to think, what are you going on about pocket? And now I've had pockets on stuff, I'm like, now I have to have a pocket on everything. Just, just do. So even when I'm out now, even if I just wear sort of my little therapy that I made, that I crocheted, I, <laughs> I would have liked a little pocket, that's all. I think if they ever do a point two version, they don't, they do not need to change well, from my my aspect anyway they don't need to change anything about it other than added a darn pocket <laughs> um and i would really like to see this dress as well as a sleeveless but not i'm going to take this off again <laughs> what's wrong with me but not where the sleeve is cut all the way up here i would like the sleeve cut a little bit lower for us ladies who you know carry a little bit there but in the summer if they could do this as a sleeveless version as well this would be, I mean, they don't need to change anything on it, just don't put no sleeves in it. I like the sleeves, don't get me wrong, but you know, in the summer you do, you sometimes you do want to show a little bit of arm or catch, catch the rays and, uh, oh, I'm just waffling. So yeah, she gets a 9.9995 for me. I've only taken points off for no pockets, unless there is one and I just can't find it. But everything else is, I'm really, really like, somebody's staring in my window at the moment. I really, really like it. I like the design of it. I like the way that it's sewn. I like the flirtiness of it. I mean, you'll, you'll see, I've got my Wonder Woman thing going on. You can just belt it and wear it with a cardigan. You're gonna get a lot of, a lot of use out of this one, okay? And for us plusies out there, that we've been feeling oh, some of these dresses are not just not quite making it for us especially if you've had a split midi and it hasn't quite worked out i think you'll be good with this one okay because i do i do think that you could you could open these buttons all the way down and have that extra little bit and i think if they'd have done that on the split midi i wouldn't have had a problem I've never had a problem, but um, but they didn't. So so you know you're gonna go with what you're gonna go. Like I say, these are currently not as of today, and I think it's November the I don't even know November twelfth or something. I don't know, maybe even later than that. They don't have them back for sale yet, but they are going to be bringing them back, and I think they're gonna be very very popular. I think when I think on the day of the drop, you're gonna have to have fingers like this to get the one that you like because currently like i say people not everyone bought one in the 24 hour and i wasn't going to get one to be honest um i don't know what fell over on me that day but i'm glad i did but i do think that now i've seen some going up for sale on the trade page of the of the facebook camper baby st trade page they people are, they snap them up straight away so I think they're going to be a very popular item, to be honest. And I can see why. I can see why. I actually think they got it right with this. The only ladies that I think that are going to suffer a little bit with this are the ladies who carry a bit more up here. The only thing, I suppose the only thing I would say as well is to cater for those ladies. It would have been nice if they'd done the arm just a bit lower down here, just to accommodate for those ladies who um who have a bit you know have a bit extra here and um, that would have been nice if there had been more of a kimono style there it would have just given a bit more option to those ladies so if anyone from camper bay is watching we want pockets a sleeveless version we want uh probably two thousand more of these on the market and then just to, just if you are after a, a demographic of people that uh that you want to wear them you know if 
just to if you drop it if you drop the sleeve down a bit more just to about there a couple more inches you will cover those ladies who actually want to wear things like this <laughs> um okay so this has probably been a really long video i, I apologize i wanted to try and get as much in as possible with this dress i'm hoping it gave you some general ideas i can't remember if i've already said this previously on this particular filming because like i say i filmed this five times but whenever i take a silk out of the bag from Panther bay every single thing always has static whether i like it or not i have one of the lingerie bags that you can pick up from walmart or so or, you know a place like that i pop the item in that in my washing machine on a cold setting with just a tiny tiny bit of, of my detergent tiny tiny bit of softener i wash it on a very delicate cycle if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can do it in the sink hand wash i want and that's the only thing i put in i don't put anything else in there with it i just put that one item in once it's 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 finished its cycle i pop it in my dryer for about five minutes on a really really low setting just to take the moisture out hang it up then i hang it up in my bathroom over the shower i then when it's dried i turn her inside out and spray the crap out of it with static guard and that's just what works for me okay you don't have to if there's some other way that you, that you like doing it but that is how i get less static on my silks as well and i don't have any static on this one and i know i moisturize well but we're coming up to this weather now where everything's going to be dry because of the because you're going to be in with air conditioning so those are my little things if you do not feel comfortable putting your silk in a machine hand just you know lightly hand wash it just let it just let it hang up to dry if it's over free will and then decide what you want to do whether you want to use an anti-static spray or not i just use the i don't know it's a scotch guard or something i pick it up from from walmart i get a pack of two and i just use that and that is what i smell of mostly in the in the winter anyway is that kind of scent and i'm okay with that but yes then i have no static on it okay It was just my little hints and tips if you do put it in your washing machine now and it shreds it i apologize be careful i've always done that i'm not telling you to do that I just thought i better do this i'm not telling you to do that but that's what works with me this one has buttons so if you're going to put it in with any more silks know that they're going to rub up against each other and cause problems that's why i put mine in a lingerie bag do not underestimate the the power of popping it inside a lingerie bag to keep it nicely in there and then washing it yes okay i'm gonna end my thing here um i will see you with the next thing i don't know what it's going to be but with the next thing in the meantime i love this dress i did not think i would love it as much as i do i love everything about it and i hope you can snag one for yourself if you are on the market for getting a new dress they are it is a very beautiful dress um, you can you can do a lot of different things with this dress and i'm hoping they bring out an absolute shed load of them for the drop because we're all going to be in there on that 10 o'clock on that friday morning all trying to get the one piece that we want so it's so a good luck everyone in the meantime i hope you liked my review i hoped it was helpful in some way uh, these they have not told us the date when they're bringing them back out yet they're making us suffer i don't know why they want to make us suffer but it's cruelty cruelty to people but <laughs> but in the meantime thank you for watching i appreciate it and uh leave me any comments do you have one are you gonna get one are you gonna get 10 are you uh, you know just tell me what you think about them in the meantime thank you bye